Hey everyone, it's Patty from Art Out of Anything, and today I'm going to be showing you two projects. One is finger painting with no paint, or actually with clean fingers, and the other is a mono print, which is a one off printing project. Um, we're not going to make a plate like we did last time when we made our collagraphs that we can do multiple prints from. We're going to make one design that you get one print from. And that's kind of fun. So the first thing I'm going to show you is our clean finger painting. And as you can see here, I've already added some pink and yellow paint to my Glad baggie. And I've sealed it. And you can put tape around the top in case you want to make sure that none of that is going to ooze out. And you can see it's also flat, which means that I've squeezed all of the air out of it after I've put my paint inside. This is also a great project for working on color mixing also, because if you combine blue and yellow, what color do you get? red and yellow blue and red and if you add white you'll get a tint and if you add black you'll get a tone and if you add gray you'll get a shade so lots of ways to learn about color by doing this very simple project once i have my paint in there and i've kind of flattened it out and mix it all together now i can actually draw by moving paint away so instead of drawing by adding color, which is what we're used to, I am drawing by taking paint away. And when I want to erase it, I just gently smooth out a little bit of the paint to get rid of the lines that I made. So I use my finger with that one, but I can also use a Q-tip. And that will give me an even clearer line. Let's see, and as I'm adding, I can make any designs I like. Some of them will disappear right away, depending on how the paint is moving and how much paint or liquid you have in there. And if you don't have paint, you can use flour and water, a paste of flour and water. You can use pudding, which is really cool. Um, you can use just about anything that creates the same texture as paint would, right? So now here I have my design. And again, I can erase it if I go over it nice and lightly, or I can squish it and mix it up. And it feels kind of cool. So it's a nice textural uh, experience as well. And that's that's clean finger painting. I could do this for hours, actually. It's kind of cool. Well, not just for kids, definitely for grown-ups, too. It helps a lot with stress. <laughs> and uh, it's very calming. It's almost like a, a, a flat lava lamp that you can actually manipulate. So there we go, our clean finger painting. And now... We're going to use some of these techniques to make our mono print. So I have my pizza pan here. Um, I couldn't find my cookie sheet. I have done it with a cookie sheet before. I've also done it with shallow uh, aluminum trays. You could even use, um, I would say you can even try using a, um, a flat um, baggie or uh, maybe even some wax paper because what you need is a surface that is not porous, not like regular paper that absorbs the color or the paint, but something that will not absorb the color. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is choose some paint here. I have some acrylic paint, I have some finger paint, and again, you can make your own paint. This does have to be a little thicker. Um, it can't be really thin or, or washy like a watercolor. It has to have some depth to it. So you can use uh, some flour and water that you mix up with with color food coloring and make your own paint and there's lots of other recipes and I'll have some links to recipes about making your own paint at artoutofanything.com today too. So as you can see I'm just using a regular it's a 99 cent store brush and I'm putting a thin layer of paint on my on my sheet. Now if you don't have a brush I thought maybe that you could use like a piece of cardboard. Let's see if that works. Hmm. That kind of works. I think if I put more paint on here, I would be able to spread it out. Let's see. Because what I want to do is get a nice thin sheet of paint. Nothing with too many lumps or bumps. You want it to be thin, but you want it to be covered. Because that's going to be our, kind of our printing plate. So see, it kind of does work. You can sort of spread it out with a piece of cardboard too. And you get a pretty opaque a layer of paint on there. So at least that's that's something else that you can use. You can try it and see what works. Now you don't want it to get too dry because we are going to make a design in it. Now I'm going to use 
my q-tip first and of course you can use your fingers right you can use anything you like to make it because once again we are just like with our baggie we're taking away the paint and making a design by taking the paint away instead of adding to the paper so and that kind of creates negative space which is another art term that i'll tell you a little more about on my blog um i also have combs uh, comb painting is a lot of fun too and especially with this project because you can get some really fine lines with your comb and all different kinds of textures and use it in lots of different ways so here we go you can even use an old toothbrush if you like or the end of a paintbrush or a toothbrush or a pencil so now i am going to make a print out of this design by doing the same thing we usually do with a print we're going to lay our paper i'm going to lay it a landscape orientation because i think i get more of the image that way and i'm going to press it very lightly and if you remember from my previous printing projects this is called burnishing and you can do it with your hands if you're very careful and don't squeeze too much or press too hard you can do it with a spoon the same thing don't press too hard i can even do it by using this little bottle of paint i have right here and just transferring the image onto the paper let's see how that came out i haven't tried this yet today so let's see ah that's not bad it came out pretty good that's my mono print and what what can you see about what can you tell it's the reverse right yes it is so that's our project two projects for today clean finger painting and mono prints i really hope to see some of your um your projects you can post them at our facebook page art out of anything on our instagram page at art out of anything and of course, visit artoutofanything.com for all of the directions and more links to resources. Thanks so much. Have a great day.